You're either moving forward or you're going backwards. You don't stay the same. We are not human beings. We are human becomings. We are becoming something. There is nothing you cannot be. There is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing you cannot have. How do you stay motivated? And, and I just say, it's not about motivation. Motivation is a, is a fickle little emotional thing. And if you get too hungry, sometimes you're not motivated. Or if you get too tired, sometimes you're not motivated. Or if it's been a long day, you lose your motivation. So that's why motivation doesn't matter to me. It's about the discipline. It's about the discipline of holding the course, knowing what you have to do, and making it happen. There's going to be bad days, there's going to be dark days, but you got to embrace it because that pain is what makes you stronger. It, success is not measured on the days when the sun shines. Success is measured on the dark, stormy, cloudy days. And if you can't absorb failure, you're never going to meet success. It's awareness of mind that takes advantage of that opportunity. You will all be confronted with opportunity. You must take advantage of it. Because if you don't take advantage of your opportunity, you'll never realize your dreams. Whether you want them or not is the irrelevance. You don't know that until you achieve it. All that positive thinking and how you think and what you determine your destiny to be, it works. You must prepare your mind to be happy. You gotta take action now. You gotta take action now. Make today your masterpiece. And so I'm passionate about personal growth because for that person who says, wow, I, I, I had an opportunity, I wasn't ready. If you're growing, you're always ready because after I intentionally started growing, I made a commitment to grow as a leader. I started writing, I became an author. I developed growth resources for other people. I founded my first company, I began training conferences. Everything I can think of that has ever been good in my life was a result of the fact that I started personal growth in my life. You have to be willing to be the only person for a moment. And that moment might be a minute, it might be a month, it might be a year, it might be 10 years. You have to be willing to be the only person that sees your vision. You gotta be willing. You gotta be willing to do it by yourself. There's only one you, and you've only got one today. One now. Tomorrow it's gone. Okay, tomorrow it's a different day. People spend their whole life planning on living their dreams. We tell you what, you gotta take action. You gotta attack the day. You have to be willing to understand that at times, as your vision is coming out of you, it's not gonna be clear for anyone else but you. I don't care who you are, diligence. There's no substitute for working hard. It is a long, curvy road. You cannot necessarily be concrete about what your vision is, about next steps. But you've got to commit every day to becoming the best that you can be. More capable, more committed, more alive. Life will take off for you then when you choose for it to. You have not so chosen as yet. You have procrastinated, prolonged, protracted, protested. Now it's time that you promulgated and produced what you've been promised. What's something that you've done recently in the name of growth where you were comfortable being uncomfortable? If your answer is, I don't know, then that's a sign that you need to be working on something. You've always got to be growing or else you're going backwards. You've got to move towards your goals today. You've got to get up every day and say to yourself, every morning, 
I will do today what others don't, so I'll have tomorrow what others won't. You know what to do. You're just not doing it. You have a responsibility to achieve for yourself. And the only way that this is going to happen is with self-inspiration, self-determination, and hard work that starts before everybody else gets up and after everybody else has gone to sleep. Negative belief system leads to negative results and the opposite. The deeper you believe in yes, the more positive your results will be. We're making decisions every day, and those decisions are forming our actions. Those actions are forming our habits. Those habits are forming our character. And that character is forming our destiny. Self-doubt creates this distance between you and the people that you love. Self-doubt creates distance between the dreams that you have, where you are now. And so if you have greater confidence, you will be able to close the gap between where you're at and all of the things that you dream about. Failure is a part of the learning process. What's the risk of failure? What, you'll be embarrassed? How do you distinguish failure from learning? In your whole life, failure implies that it stops, that the game stops, right? If it's part of a, you're failing, and then you learn, then that learning is part of the moving forward, right? So that is what the process is like. Fail, learn, move forward, and constantly do that because you're cutting edge. You're going where people haven't been before in inventiveness. That's exciting to those people. So that's a different kind of approach to life, right? It's a different way of being. He said, when you change the way you look at something, what you look at will change. Change your perception. Do you know the reason most people don't make decisions? Because they can't see how they're going to get there. So what do they do? They keep doing things that they can see how they're going to get there. And that's why their life never really changes. When you get up every day, know your priorities. Say every day, I will do today what others don't, so I will have tomorrow what others won't. Don't let your phone, don't let the TV, don't let your friends knock you off what are the most important things to get done today. As Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it. Now what makes me laugh is I know right now some of the people listening to that, they say that's bullshit. They're just limits to what humans can do. And I get that response, I understand it. I used to respond to everything like that. I used to see only the difficulty. I used to see only the ways in which it couldn't work out. And I couldn't see, I was literally blinded by fear. I was blinded by some bizarre sense of pride that wanted to justify my limited existence, that didn't want to have to face that I could be doing more, that I could be more, that my life was somehow less than what it could be. And so I would laugh at quotes like that. And I know right now of the chills, I know right now there are people that are laughing at that and all they can think about are the limits. All they can think about are the things that prove him wrong. And guess what? He is wrong. There really are limits. But if you fucking waste your time focused on that, you're never going to create the momentum that you need to actually make something come true in your life. You can build virtually anything, but if you get hung up on the fucking virtual part, if you let that stop you, if you immediately go to the things that ultimately limit you and hold you back, that is where you're gonna stay forever. Because if you argue for your limitations, guess what, my friend? They become yours. And congratulations, you now get to live in that box. You get to live in that self-defined prison. But if, like Teddy Roosevelt said, instead of that, you keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground, and you don't act like somebody who can't see that sure, there are limits, there are edges to this universe, but you're looking not at that. You're looking at how do you really execute 
You're dreaming big and you're remembering that your feet ultimately is that contact point. It is where the rubber meets the road. It is that moment of doing. And so if instead of rejecting it because your feet must stay planted on the ground, remember that in keeping your feet on the ground, that's the moment of action. That's the moment of doing something about it. That's the moment of seeing the fucking possibilities and then moving doing something, making it real. So right now, give up on those weird mental mechanisms that make you actually want to fight for the things that aren't possible, to get people to believe in it, to get people to understand why you've chosen to stand still. Instead of that, convince yourself that you should be moving and go do what you know you're destined to do.